Images and ISOs are both used for spinning up your VM instances. You can find them on the Machine Images Images page. To create an image, we click Create. We provide a name, optionally a description, the firmware type, BIOS or UEFI, and an operating system. If the exact operating system is not on this list, select whichever is closest. Next, we select a scope. This can be project to limit access to only those who have permissions within this project, or account to allow anyone within the account to use this image. Cloud admins have a third option, which is public, allowing anyone in the cloud access to this image. On the next page, we select the source from which the image will be created. We can either upload a file, provide a URL, or utilize a snapshot of an existing VM. Creating an ISO is similar. You provide a name, select the firmware type, operating system, storage pool, scope, and a source. For Windows ISOs, click Add Windows Drivers to add the Windows driver disk, or click Add Drivers to add any driver disk you would like. If you click on an image, you'll see there are four actions you can take. You can modify the image, to change the name, description, firmware type, OS, and scope. You can clone an image. You can also launch a VM straight from the image. And finally, you can delete an image. As always, for further information, you can find documentation and the support center linked in the top right.